Damon Runyon Theater. Once again, the Damon Runyon Theater brings you another story by the master storyteller, Damon Runyon. And this one, Earthquake. And to tell it to you, here is Broadway. Thanks. One night I am sitting quietly in Good Time Charlie's place on 48, talking with Charlie, when we hear quite a commotion going on outside. I and Charlie listen for a minute, then he says to me, My goodness, that sounds to me like the gendarmes are raiding New York as a whole. Those sounds are getting closer. I wonder who they are after now. It is getting so a citizen has to be careful all. Look! Look who comes in! Hold it, not go. It is Earthquake. Back way, Charlie. It open? Earthquake, why do you come into my place and draw coppers? Shut up, I want to know. Is the back way clear? Yeah, yeah. Earthquake, what is the matter? What do you do that sets the coppers playing games with you? How do I know? Might be any one of a dozen things. I got no time to recollect. They are at the back, too, Earthquake. Yeah. Ain't no other way out, is there? Short of cutting a hole in the roof, you are trapped. Me? <laughs> not me. Broadway, Charlie, get back out of the way. You are not going to shoot it out. Are you able to think of a better way? Get back. Earthquake, think of the innocent bystanders. Nobody gets hurt but coppers. Now stand back and keep out of the road. They're coming in. What else is there to do? I and Charlie duck down and wait for the party that is coming up. Earthquake pulls two Roscoes from his waistband, sizes up the defenses he has got, and waits. And what happens, I will tell you in a minute. Now, back to the Damon Runyon Theater and the famous story, Earthquake. Like I say, Earthquake decides to shoot it out. And I say right here and now that I wish no part of being a copper when Earthquake is doing the shooting it out. In the first place, he is never afraid of anything. In the second place, he gets his name Earthquake because he is the strongest, biggest guy in the world. I think about this while I watch it and wonder if I will read the morning papers ever again. Get ready, Broadway. Here they come. What happens? To go away? Ah, they got a trick up their sleeves. Charlie. What? what? That alley in back. Where does it go to? It ends up backstage at the theater. Uh-huh. They are figuring out a plan. Okay, so will I. I figure they got more men in front than back. Okay, I will try the back. You are going? I got no chance in here. Goodbye. <laughs> this will teach them to round me up. Which way do I run to get to the theater, Charlie? To, to the right. Okay, now listen. I'm going to fling this door up, and when I do, I'm going out shooting. You two duck down and you'll be all right. This I will have to see. And I count three. One, two, three. Get out of the way, Copper! He went out the back that way. That way. Fire, you dopes. Hold your fire. There's a crowd of people at the stage door. He got into that crowd, Lieutenant Brannigan. We didn't have a chance. You hit him? No, sir, but it, he, it's okay, Lieutenant Okay, bad? I think so, Lieutenant. Over there. Mulcahy. Mulcahy. Bad, Lieutenant. Just as bad as it could be. Johnny. Johnny Brannigan. Huh? Oh, Broadway. Okay, he's dead, huh? Yeah. An earthquake got away. Well, Johnny, we can do nothing. He comes in it's here... It's okay, I know. O'Brien? Yes, sir. Take care of this, will you? Uh, yes, sir. Mulcahy. A wife and two kids, Broadway. Yeah, I, I know. Killed by a no good... Charlie? What, Johnny? Wh where's your phone? Right over there. Thanks. Broadway, New York will be too hot for earthquake now. You'll leave. You'll get out somehow. 
But to help me, Hannah, I'm not going to let any other cop in the world get him. I'm going to bring him back myself if I have to turn in my shield and do it on my own. So help me, Mulcahy. And when he says that, Johnny Brannigan's face is not good to look at. He is a tough copper at best. But the way he looks then makes me very glad my name is not Earthquake. Well, Johnny leaves after calling in a report. And the next I hear, he has gone after Earthquake. The department gives him permission. In fact, they are glad Johnny takes the job, because if anybody can bring back Earthquake, it is him. Well, five months go by, and I see or hear nothing of either Johnny or Earthquake, until one day I am sitting in Mindy's when who walks in but Johnny. He comes to my table and sits down. Hello, Broadway. Johnny! How are you? Fair. How's the sandwich? Fair. Uh, you were uh, gone quite a while, Johnny. Yeah. Five months, two weeks, three days. Uh-huh. Uh, do you uh, have a successful trip? I guess you'd call it that. I see. Do you care to join me in a sandwich? No, thanks. I'm a little off my feed. Yeah, I see you do not look so good. You have got very deep circles under your eyes. And you lose weight. Maybe you are sick, huh? In a way, yeah. Want to hear about it? I will listen. You're wondering about Earthquake. Well, I guess you can say that. I found him. Oh. I read nothing at all about it, Johnny. And I watch the papers every day since you leave. You'd have to read the official reports to get anything. Oh, oh I see. Uh, where is Earthquake? Central America. Central... Okay, Johnny. If you do not wish to tell me, it is all right. I told you I'd tell you. And I'm telling you. As a civilian. A what? Johnny, you mean you are no longer a co... Uh, uh, on the force? I don't know. I have to wait until the chief finishes reading my report. Maybe I'll still have my shield, maybe not. It all depends. On what? On whether they think I got earthquake... Or not. Johnny, look, are you going to tell me what happens or not? Sure, sure. Remember much about Earthquake Broadway? Oh, can I ever forget? He is the strongest guy in the world. Why, I remember the time in the Club 23 when he picks up little Mitzi in one hand and Harry the horse in the other and bangs their heads together like they were nothing but two very small dolls. Uh-huh. I once saw him bend the bars at the jail. Yeah, but uh, uh, why are you asking me all that? Because his strength is the reason I didn't bring him back with me. Johnny, are you or are you not going to tell me the story? Yeah, yeah. When I left New York, I got a lead that Earthquake went to New Orleans. I hopped a plane after him. Sure, he went by another name, even dyed his hair and raised a mustache. But there was one thing he couldn't hide, his strength. He was proud of it, Broadway. Liked to show off. <laughs> it was as good as a perfect set of fingerprints. Well, in New Orleans, I got a lead. There was a girl I went to see. Who is it? Special delivery letter. Letter for me? Yeah. Hey, what's the idea? Take it easy. You're not going to get hurt. What do you want? Who are you? Anybody here with you? Sure, sure. Lots of people. Now beat it before I call the cops. <laughs> you already got one. Take a look. I ain't done nothing. What do you want me for? I don't. Now, step aside. Are you... You're alone, huh? Yeah. Now, look, Copper, I tell you, I ain't done nothing. Now, get Where's up. Where's your boyfriend? Boyfriend? I ain't got one. You had one. A big guy. Calls himself Earthquake. I never heard of the guy. Well, maybe he had a different name. Maybe he took another name. What's the matter? Where'd you get this? What do you care? can't arrest me for having a horseshoe in my flat. I know, but this one's bent straight. Do it yourself. Smart guy. Look, the guy who gave you this is wanted for murder. Uh, hey, look, I, I didn't know the guy at all. He, he just took me out a couple of times, that's all. And gave you this as a keepsake? Yeah, yeah. He, he was awful strong. Where'd he go? I don't know. All he said was he, he was going someplace where they could use a muscle man. He said... Said he was going to make a lot of dough. That all he told you? Yeah. Except for one thing. What was that? He, 
Oh, it wasn't nothing he told me. It was just that he kept trying to learn Spanish. Spanish? Yeah. No, no, that's all. Honest, I, I didn't know nothing okay, about it. Okay, okay. Here. This is all you'll ever have left of him. Just keep leaving clues, Earthquake. Just keep leaving them. That was my first lead, Broadway. My first good one. You mean that Earthquake keeps trying to learn Spanish and says he is going someplace where they can use a guy like he is? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, but it still seems to me that you are looking for a needle in a haystack. Or maybe no needle at all. There are a million places Earthquake can go. Sure, I knew that. But I kept on thinking of Mulcahy. That kind of made my brain work better. I got an idea. I went to see a guy at the Federal Building in New Orleans. Federal Building? What for? I had an idea, and the idea was pretty good. Because the guy there told me... I haven't got much to tell you, Lieutenant. As a matter of fact, I'd rather not say anything until given permission. Look... The guy I'm after killed an officer. An officer with a wife and two kids. I gotta catch up with him. Mm. Well, from what you told me, Brannigan, your friend is heading for Central America. Yeah, why? He's learning to speak Spanish. He said they, whoever they are, could use a good muscle man. A gunman? Yeah. Well, maybe a revolution would be the answer. If he'd get dough out of it, it is the answer. He would. But I'm not at liberty to tell you the country we suspect. However... Here's a map of Central America. Now, this country, and this, and this, quite peaceful. But... What's the matter with the one you skipped over? Nothing, yet. But there might be. Very soon. Yeah, I see. Okay, thanks. And you didn't tell me a thing you shouldn't have. Well, that is the story Johnny Brannigan tells me so far. But it is not all. Not by a long shot. And what happens when Johnny goes to Central America is something I will tell you about in a minute. Now, back to the Damon Runyon Theater and the famous story, Earthquake. Well, I am very anxious to hear the rest of the story that Johnny Brannigan is telling me. So I listen while Johnny goes on. So I went to Central America. It was hot, Broadway. Awful hot. That jungle was hot. Jungle? Jungle? What are you doing in a jungle? I said I'd go through, and I did. The authorities knew a revolution was cooking, and they knew where to look for the guy stirring it up. Well, we're about two days in when the captain in charge says to me... Well, maybe this is as far as you should go, Senor Brannigan. Why? What's the matter? Nothing, Senor, but it might be dangerous. After all, I am responsible for you. Yeah. I got a responsibility, too. You... You want this man very bad? No, he's very bad. Yeah, yeah, I want him very bad. Mm, I see. But if you will wait here at this car... No, I'm going in with you. You do not trust me, senor? Sure, sure. But something might happen to Earthquake before I get to him. Mm, And you wish to take him alive, is that it? Captain, there's a very hot seat waiting for him in New York State. I'm saving him for that. Ah, yes, I see. Well, we had better be going then. That's right. I just can't wait to see Earthquake. I just can't wait. I'll skip the next couple of days, Broadway. But we caught up with the guys who were cooking up the revolution. Uh Uh-huh. But but do you find Earthquake? Yeah, they caught him. And they were very careful to bring him to me alive. I'll never forget that, Broadway. The look on his face when he saw me. There he was, big as ever, stripped to the waist. I swear he looked like the biggest guy in the world, sweat pouring out all over him. Took five men to get him. 
Then he saw me. Brannigan! Hello, Earthquake. You! <laughs> How do you like this? You! Not surprised, are you? Knowing you, no. We got a date in New York, Earthquake. A real hot one. If we get back. We will. <laughs> Maybe. When do we start? Right now. Captain. Captain. Si, Lieutenant Brannigan. You ready to go back? Well, senor, there, there is difficulty. Huh? What? We must go farther into the jungle. We do not capture everyone. Father, but I thought... That... I'm sorry, senor, but you can go with us. Does La Blabie more fighting? Si, there is. In which case, I could lose my prisoner if you're outnumbered. Well, there is that possibility, yes. Okay. I'll take him back myself. I will let you have some of my men, Lieutenant, but I do not know the size of the force I will meet. I... You see. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, Captain, thanks for everything. Well, nada, Senor Brannigan. Please to excuse me now. All right, Earthquake. On your feet. Let's go. Sure, Johnny. It's a pleasure. Just you and me through that jungle. Just... You and me. <laughs> Tough going, Johnny. Keep in front of me. Scared, Johnny? I can... I can always put a hole in your head with this. But you will not do it, Johnny. Because you want to see me in the hot seat. You want to lead me into New York by the nose and be a big hero. Nah. You won't plug me, Johnny. Will you? Keep going. You know, I can walk like this for days. Just days and days. How about you, Johnny? Shut up. Even with handcuffs on, I'm doing better than you. I might even be able to bust out of these bracelets. Stop right where you are. Sure. What's doing, Johnny? Look, I'm going to take off those cuffs. Huh? Here, catch the key. Now, unlock those cuffs and don't take a step toward me. You'll plug me if I do? Yeah. But not to kill, Earthquake. Not to kill. I'll put one where it'll take you a couple of days to turn in your checks. Ever see that done? Sure. Okay, Johnny. Now what? Put your hands behind you. Slip the cuffs back on. You're making it awful tough on me. Like you did on Mulcahy's family. I ever tell you I was sorry i do that? Shut up! Put those cuffs back on. Sure, Johnny. Now drop that key. Drop it. Stand still with your back towards me. Now that's right, Johnny. I locked them. Now, let's move. You're forgetting the key, Johnny. It stays right here. Because if anything should happen to me, I want to see you get out of this jungle with your hands locked behind your back. So we moved on, Broadway. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but go on, Johnny. What happens? For three days, we walked through that steam bath. At night, I stayed awake and watched him. What does he do? Sleeps like a baby. Then on the fourth day, we got out of the jungle and into a little town. There was a railroad junction there. Well, then you are safe. Your troubles are over. Well, sure you... Yeah, but wait a minute. What does happen to Earthquake? You say there is a railroad? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there wasn't a train due for two days. I parked Earthquake in a local jail. It was one of those jails with walls three feet thick and the big wood beams across the windows and doors. He was safe there. Then I went to get some sleep. Broadway? <laughs> I slipped. 
Then all of a sudden, something wakes me up. Senor! 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 Come in! What's the matter? What's going on? He's an earthquake, senor. You must get out of the house. Earthquake? See, si. Get out, senor. Get out. You will be killed here. The jail. I got to get to it. Madre de Dios, senor. We will all be killed. Come on. I got to get to that jail. I, we will all be killed. This way. Senor. Out into the street. Okay. 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 Stay out in the open. You'll be all right. No. No. Do not leave me, senor. Do not leave me. All right. Come on. The jail is this way. I know. it. just a few more steps. I... Well, well, well. Out of bed early, ain't you, Johnny? Where's the jailer? He takes off at the first rumble. <laughs> Looks like a real welcome for me. Earthquake and all. You're getting out of there. <laughs> I'll take my chances in here, Johnny. And there ain't no way you can get me out. You're coming out. Yeah? Only if this place busts wide open. And I don't think it will. <laughs> Look at the railroad tracks, Johnny. All heaved up in the middle. Senor, Senor Luke. What's the matter with you? The convent. Huh? The convent. What? They will all be killed in there. Convent where? Right across the street, Johnny. Looks like everybody's trapped. The is full of children will be killed, all of them. Hey, there are kids in there? Yeah, they're in a bad spot. That doorway's the only way they can get out. And it's sagging in right now. Please do something, senor. Do something. I can't do anything. Johnny, Johnny. Shut up. Look, if that doorway can be held up, there's a chance they'll all get out. But if it caves in, they're trapped. That roof's going to crash in in a minute. What can I do about it? Nothing. But a guy with a lot of strength can brace himself against that door and maybe hold it off for a couple of minutes. You... You think of anybody else big and strong enough to do it? I'm taking you back to New York. Oh, sure, I'll let them kids and nuns in there all be killed. Okay, I'll sit it out in here. I'm safe. Senor, senor, please, please, look, the door's getting smaller. Shut please. up. I could hold it up for a couple of minutes, Johnny. You can't get out of that jail. You got a gun, shoot the lock off. No, no. Them kids in there are going to be smashed to bits, Johnny. Maybe even you aren't strong enough. I can hold that up standing on my head. I could do better if my hands was loose, but you threw away the key. Get in the doorway. Yeah. Now, look. I get myself wedged in like this. Back against one side. Feet against the other. Now, get those kids and nuns out under my legs. Okay. You kids, come on this way. Come on, kids. Come on. Oh, Come on, you kids. Come on, keep moving, will you? Come on, kids, get out. Come on. Hey, Johnny, there's a couple of them laying down in there. Hurt. Go in and get them. Kids, yeah, yeah. All right, kids, come on, come on. Up you go. Come on. That's all of them. They're out. Yeah. Yeah, they are. All right, let's go. Let go. Come on. Are you kidding? What for? Earthquake, come on, I said. Uh, Johnny, while you was in there, I could have got out and left the whole thing busting on you. But now, you better beat it, Johnny. I'm staying. So you win after all, huh? I got no wish for the hot seat. Better this way. Tell Mulcahy's family I'm sorry. Now get out. Get out before I fold up and let this whole mess down on you. Get away, Johnny. That is the story that Johnny Brannigan tells me. But the story is not finished yet. And how it ends, I will tell you in a minute. Johnny gets up to where I tell you. Then he sits there for a minute before he says, So, 
That's it, Broadway. That is the end? Yeah. All but one... Excuse me, Lieutenant. Huh? Oh, what's up, O'Brien? Well, the chief told me to give this back to you. Hey, that is your shield, Johnny. Yeah, my shield. Hmm. I guess the chief liked my reports. Okay, O'Brien, thanks. Oh, it's all right, Lieutenant. (laughs) So I'm still on the force. Even if I didn't bring Earthquake back with me. Well, look, Johnny. There is one question I would like to ask. Yeah? What is it? You and me know that Earthquake is a very strong guy. Now, you left him holding up that doorway like you say. Okay. It seems to me that knowing Earthquake, he is probably still holding it up. He is very strong. Yeah. So, you walk away without him. Do you put that in your report, too? Yeah. With just one more thing. And... What is that, Johnny? As I walked away, Broadway, there was one more big shock. It was such a heavy one that when I looked back at the convent, I see even a guy as strong as Earthquake isn't able to hold it off. And so ends the famous Damon Runyon story, Earthquake. Listen in again next week for... The Damon Runyon Theater. The Damon Runyon Theater with John Brown as Broadway is directed by Richard Sandville and the stories adapted for radio by Russell Hughes. Vern Carstensen is in charge of production. This is a Mayfair production.